So in Visual Basic, this length function does what? It takes this variable that we have set, Zafar Ali Khan, finds its length in terms of number of characters. return That is basically what 14 now. Then left of x5. So it has found left of x5 is Zafar. Five characters from the left of x. Then next command is right from the x4 characters. That is Khan. It counted from the right side, one, two, three, four, and gave us as output, Khan. Then mid, in the X, start from the seventh location, take out three characters and assign those characters to A. So that is now Ali. So get the idea, seventh, eighth, ninth. All right, so seventh, start from the seventh character and take how many? Three. So seven, eight, nine, that is Ali now. Now in a string, if you do remember, I told you that in a string looks for one pattern, character or a string into another. So it says that you start from the seventh location. This is the seventh location, A. And find space. So space will be at 10th location. So you can see that B is now 10, B is 10. The red value is the newest value that went to the memory after the recent operation. So in a string, if you omit this, if you omit this part and re-execute this program, it will now start from the first character. So the first space that you get is at six, which is here. If you start from seven, then it finds onward and onwards it is at 10. Now the G is basically the character. I want the ASCII code of this G and assign that to B. So now B is C 71. So B is now what? 71. So ASCII code of G is what? 71, which is assigned to B. And now we give character 85. I, we have no idea that what is at 85. So we passed it. Now you can see that C is what? U. C is U. This little C tells that this is a character. So C is the value of C is U. Why? Because the associated ASCII character with this code 85 is U that is assigned to C. Now concatenation. Concatenation is what? You want to make this string and this string connected as one single string and then again needs to be assigned to A. So A is now something else. I want to connect these two strings. Connect as in merge, concatenation. So see what is A, Zafar and with space Khan. If I omit this part and I just connect this Zafar with Khan, you would see, all right, instead of having it additionally, what I, would, I have done, I have put one space in this particular string myself. If I remove it and rerun this, see Zafar Khan is now connected without a space or you can put a space after Zafar. All right, so it is now with the space. So it's up to you whether you like your space to be shown separately or you want to put a space after Zafar or before Khan, but in any case, you need this concatenation thing. This concatenation is merging, merging of two strings. When two strings are merged, they are then assigned to A. Now, this A is basically a string variable. This is uh what do we call it casting casting is turning one data type into another data type internally apparently it looks the same so this 123 is being casted to a string this 123 now is basically the integer and then a becomes 123 now you can see that the value is in 
double quotation. So this is a string. Similarly, this is a string 523.75. It is being assigned to D. D is a real number. So this D is now 523.75. You can see over here, the type is single. I told you earlier that the type real in Visual Basic is called single. So single and real, they both are basically same. Internally, they are being saved as floating point numbers. Floating point numbers, kya hote hai? real numbers. And then uh, B is what? Integer. D was real. D was real. B is integer. So in, in case if the value that you are going to cast is having a fractional part, but the type to which you are going to assign does not have a fractional part as in this is integer. In that case, system will convert it to real. Then system will round it. And then that rounded figure will be assigned to B. So B will be 524. You can see that. So if system can assign 0.75, it assigns it. But since this B was integer, it, it is not in real number. So real number now system actually takes the value run round it and then it assigns it to the teacher variable. Then the Zafar Ali Khan is mixed case as in proper case. So if I want to convert it to uppercase, I'll use U case function. Now you can see that Zafar Ali Khan is basically all in uppercase. Similarly, the Zafar Ali Khan is all in lowercase with L case. So there is always a question, sir, what if we give lowercase to lowercase function, what would happen? Nothing. Lowercase will remain lowercase or vice versa. If you give uppercase to um, uppercase function, uppercase remains uppercase. Doesn't make any difference. That is what it is. So these are those functions which we, which we just uh, 